week three of the fantasy football season. And he has a few tight ends that have his sleeper options this week. The first guy, Tywa Conklin of the New York Jets. At Tywa Conklin, so far, he's played some pretty good football, even though I know week one was garbage time where he got his fantasy points. But hey, fantasy points are fantasy points. Week one versus the Ravens, seven targets, four catches, 16 yards. And a touchdown. A week to a Cleveland, six catches, 40 yards on nine targets. So that's two double-digit fantasy days back-to-back to start the season in PPR leagues. And right now, he's available in 84% of fantasy leagues. He's got a pretty decent matchup versus the Cincinnati Bengals. And Joe Flacco, believe it or not, he's spreading that football out in the early going. We're seeing Conklin get numbers. Corey Davis has been getting numbers. Garrett Wilson last week in week two. A coming out party for the rookie he's putting up numbers and the running backs have been playing pretty well as well as Brees Hall and Michael Carter especially Hall in week two so right now Conklin if you need a tight end I think could put up a decent ball game once again here like I said this Jet team throws the football a lot and he's getting targets and opportunities the next tight ends Hayden Hurst of the Cincinnati Bengals staying in the same ball game so right now Drew Samples banged up and he's going to be out multiple weeks with a leg injury. So Hayden Hurst in the early going, two mediocre PPR days. Week one versus Pittsburgh, five catches, 46 yards on eight targets. And week two at the Dallas Cowboys, five catches, 24 yards and seven targets. So right here, week three at the Jets, it wouldn't be surprising to me that Hurst possibly could find the end zone in this one and with 30 or 40 yards. Because this Jet team, you know, they're going to try to stop Jamar Chase and T. Higgins, who Higgins had a great game last week at the Dallas Cowboys and like I said Joe Burrow in this offense they got to come out firing they got to get off to better starts they're rowing to back against the wall this week and they're coming off a a Super Bowl hangover but right here I think Hayden Hurst could have a good ball game this week available right now in 81% of fantasy leagues and he's a tight end I like as a sleeper this week and the third and final tight end I like as a sleeper is Will Disley of the Seattle Seahawks at Disley week one had a big fantasy day in PPR leagues. Three catches, 43 yards, and a touchdown. And a week two at San Francisco, just nothing was going for the Seattle Seahawks offense. Besides Tyler Lockett having a nice ball game. So two receptions and no yards in week two at San Francisco. I know Noah Fant's over there and possibly the number one tight end. But right here, the Seattle team, they like spreading the football out. And they run three, four tight end sets time after time here in the early going this season. So Will Disley, a few seasons ago, definitely had fantasy value, but then he went down with any injury. But right now, I think week three versus the Falcons, he could be a sneaky play, but only in the deepest of leagues, obviously. That's why, obviously, these guys are sleepers, and he's available in 99% of fantasy leagues. So that's a few tight ends that have his sleeper options for week three of the fantasy football season.